Welcome back to the Tierney Education YouTube page. My name is James Tierney, owner and operator of tierneyeducation.com. Head on over there. You can schedule a free 30-minute consultation. If you have any questions about econ, math, or just education in general, I'd be happy to talk to you. If this is your first time at the page, we do a lot of questions like the one you will see here. Uh, and this one is from an introductory macroeconomics class. So let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you like and subscribe so that way you know when future videos hit the channel. So you're given some data up here for a closed economy. Remember, closed economy just means net exports equal to zero. There's no trade. And we want to use the data to calculate the following. We've got private savings, investment spending, transfer payments, and the government budget balance. Uh, let's see, we have Y, which is our GDP, 14 trillion. G is government purchases at 2 trillion. T, we've got 3 trillion. C, uh, so T is taxes, C is consumption at 8 trillion. And public savings at negative 1 trillion. I tell students that you don't always have to go in order. A lot of instructors might give you a list of things to solve and you think you have to go in order, but that's not the case. Find what is the easiest. In this question, Investment spending is going to be quite easy because we know Y equals C plus I plus G. And we have Y, we have C, we have G, so we can solve for that investment. We could rewrite this and say investment is equal to Y minus C minus G. And we could then say, okay, well, Y was equal to 14, C was equal to 8, G was equal to 2. That's 14 minus 10. That tells us investment is equal to Four uh, trillion, I guess we could put that in there, trillion, to make it look like the rest of the ones above. Private savings, and you might think, well, private savings from class and from, you know, textbooks or whatever, you're like, well, that's income plus transfer payments minus consumption and taxes. But we don't have transfer payments. In fact, we're going to get it down here. So do we want to try and solve that one first? Or like, man, I'm not sure what to do. But we also have to remember that overall savings equals investment, right? And we know that savings is just private savings and public savings. So public savings and private savings must equal investment. And what do we know? Well, we know that private savings is what I'm looking for. Public savings is negative 1 trillion. And we know investment from before was equal to 4 trillion, right down here. So if I solve this out, if I add 1 trillion to both sides, I get private savings equaling to 5 trillion dollars. So there we go. We have solved for it now. And notice, like I said before, it's not as straightforward as, oh, I got some equations from before. I'm just going to start plugging things in. A good instructor is not going to just test you on plugging and chugging into an equation. right? They're going to have you think about it. They're going to have you say, okay, well, maybe I have to solve this one first. Then I can come back and maybe I have to think of another equation. So just be careful with trying to solve things like with your gut instinct. right? Like Just think through things first. Now, the transfer payment is going to be a little easier because we have all that information now. Remember, the private savings, all the money that comes in, which is Y plus TR, so that's income plus transfer payments, we're going to take away my consumption, we're going to take away my taxes because that's what the private sector pays out. We have private savings from before as $5 trillion. Y is going to equal to 14, transfers what we're trying to solve for. We're going to take away the 8 trillion from consumption and the tr 3 trillion from our taxes. Uh, that's going to be, let's see, 5 trillion here. 14 minus 11 is going to be equal to 3 trillion plus TR, right? We're, all I did was there's 14 minus 8. Right, 14 minus 8 was going to be 6, and then minus 3 is going to be 3. Then we're going to subtract 3 from both sides, and so we see that transfer payments are equal to $2 trillion. We got that one solved. 
And now we have the last question, right? The last question that we see here is the government budget balance. Now, remember, the government budget balance is just public savings. It's the same exact thing, which we're given up here. So there's no calculations. It's negative one trillion. And because it's a negative, we know it's a deficit. So there you have it. This is how you solve one of those types of questions you might see in an introductory macro class where you're given, you know, different um, data for Y, C, G, et cetera, trying to find different like private, public savings, investment. And there's lots of different types of questions like this. So you might want to try and search around, find a few more. If all goes well this semester, I'll probably post a lecture on this type of question. But at least now you know how to solve for a few of these things. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel so that way you know when I post new videos. And again, go to tyrannyeducation.com. Please feel free to sign up for a free half hour discussion. I would love to get to know you, what types of videos you want to see, and if there's any way my business can help you become a better student. Until next time.